Hey y'all, Coach in the Fight here, guy Chris with me. Hey y'all. And we're here on March the 20th of the year 2023, and we're talking about a few things. As you can see, we got a lot going on. We're going to be talking about our compasses and how they seem to be pointing in a different direction. But we're also going to be talking about the UV readings and what we're seeing down here in Alabama at the beginning of spring. But we're going to start off talking about the sundown. Like I said, we're here on March the 20th and we're looking at the sundial. This is what man reports as the equinox. And if you've been following our channel for a number of years, you know that we have been working on a equinox puzzle since 2021. When we saw the equinox indicator on this sundial on March the 18th. And ever since then, guys, we've been trying to solve that puzzle. And I believe we finally got it figured out. Um, what happened back in 2021 was we got shade on the week prior to March the 18th. And then on March the 18th, we got full sun, which is when it appears that the sundial gave us the equinox indicator. And then we didn't get any sun on the 19th or the 20th in order to verify that. So what it boils down to is the calibration of the sundial. So what we've done here in 2023 is we've actually calibrated the uh, sundial to the equinox. Praise our Father in heaven. We're getting sun here on the 20th. So what we've done is we've drawn a line to bisect the sundial, uh, making sure we're right in the center. And then we have set the sundial to track that line. So from now on, it should look the same on March the 20th. Right, Chris? Right. And tomorrow it should be below the line, letting us know that the new tropical year has started. But anyway, getting into some more interesting stuff, like, for instance, the UV meter, as you see here, is reading at 10.5, which is well above uh, what's safe for uh, humans to be out here in the sun and you know there's a lot of people or a few people that's reporting on this around the world um, one guy up in Philadelphia that uh, gives reading on this and we just wanted to show that we too down here in Alabama are getting these high readings in fact our readings are a little bit higher because we're all a little bit closer to the equator it's not quite high noon yet and we're already getting tens um you can look at the sundown position and see that we're pretty close to about 10 o'clock in the morning. So we still have a ways to go before we see the highest numbers. But we'll let you know what they are. But the last thing we wanted to talk about was this compass. While we were out here working with the sundown, um, trying to figure out the arrow associated with the equinox that we were getting, um, Praise our Father in heaven. He had me to look down at the compass. It was kind of one of those things where I said, you know, what else could be wrong? And so I looked down at the compass and it was actually pointing in a different direction. Um, I got it sitting on my sundial. And if you know anything about sundials, um, this type, we are supposed to be facing north. And we are. Normally, uh, we would be looking directly north uh, from the perspective of the camera now. But when you look at the compass, it tells us that we are actually facing more like south, southeast. Right, Chris? Right. So the compasses are off. We discovered this yesterday that they were off. Um, but the last time we saw this was back in September. Right. Right around equinox then. Actually, the last day, it actually reset itself on September the 29th. So that was some time after the equinox. But it was also really close to the new moon time. Right. I looked that up. Um, it was right around the time of the new moon, just like it is now. We're expecting a new moon here in the next uh, three, two or three days. We, so maybe this change in the compass has something to do with the equinox or the new moon or the combination of the two, which appears to me. But you guys, you, you check your compasses in your area um, and re please report back. Let us know 
um, if your compass is right, if it's not right, and let us know where you're at. We're trying to map this out to get an idea of what's actually going on. If it's related to the equinox, then we should kind of see this every six months or so. Right. But anyway, guys, we just want to share this stuff with you. We'll continue to track the equinox throughout the day. Um, making sure that it stays on this straight line that it is. Um, and like I said, we'll check the uh, UV meter throughout the day and we'll keep you updated on the compass if it changes back or does anything different. Mm -hmm. And with that, we're going to go ahead and close this video out. Mm, that's that on that. Shalom.